All right, so I figured I should probably give a tutorial on actually how to make this because I'm pretty sure I made this one off camera in the last episode. So basically, all right, guys, it has been two hours and five minutes since the last clip. And take a look at our balance, guys. It is almost... No All right, what is going on, guys? Mizo here. Welcome back to another video on the Archon Skyblock, the Origins Realm, guys. Server IP is Mizoid.ArchonHQ.net. In case you guys want to hop on and play alongside me, I really do appreciate that if you join with that IP. And as always, if you do want to redeem a free donator rank on any realm on the Archon, use code Mizoid at the free rank from YouTuber section. Link to the store down below in the description, as well as a link to the Archon blog with all upcoming updates about the server. So we ended off last episode of the Versus series building this new Iron Golem farm that should be much more efficient. And guys, let me tell you, I AFK'd for for I think 15 hours and made 650 million dollars off of just the iron golems this is way better than it was before before I was making like basically nothing I didn't even notice anything but now I'm making so much off of this literally one night of AFK and like a little bit extra hours and we have 650 million dollars which is really really good so quick standings I think the only really people that are like still grinding this really hard is Dr. Candyman and Royal but they're both in the billions I just really want to pass heroic I haven't seen him online in a bit and his level has not changed ours is at 90 million right now which i think we can get up there we we're about to buy like what freaking 28 30 30 30 spawners right now for the iron golem we are about to stack out this one right here and start the second stack in the chunk okay there we go that's now at 64 and we now have 18 right there and yep our island level is now over 100 million we're at 102 million guys and i feel like if we keep this up afking overnight doing all this work uh you know while heroic and them are offline we can definitely continue increasing our lead on robbie who probably still hasn't moved yet he's still at 38 million and i think we could pass heroic guys and we can actually end the series this five waiver series in third place which guys that's better that's like a bronze medal okay and we also have this to sell i'm gonna go ahead and sell this i think that was like six million sugarcane yeah for 215 million i guess we can buy some more spawners i'll go ahead and do that um so yeah the only thing like we're not really doing that well is getting mob coins because those mob coins like i said the mob coin deals are like really good and i haven't really been taking advantage of it the iron golems are still here but it's only here for 18 hours i mean i could probably get that in 18 hours if i were to grind it out and it might be worth it to be honest but um yeah i mean guys we are doing really good i just want to give you guys this update about the spawner because this is so much more efficient than it used to be and we were making a lot of money off of it i'm guessing these chests are also filled yeah they're completely filled to the brim so i'm going to condense these and then put these into our void chests all right guys i just finished putting all the valuables into those chests down there and we now have a level of about 113 million which is really really good compared to what we started with you know we were in last place now we're in fourth but we're getting closer to third uh every day because you know right now heroic's not really playing and we are definitely can take the advantage right there so guys i'm just gonna keep it up this episode's probably gonna be days and days of progress i'm probably just gonna be afking for a while upgrading our spawners our farms eventually i'm guessing we could probably finish this one in today's video depending on how long like i record for this video um which is basically eight stacks of igs and then we'd have to make another one probably like over there or something but yeah guys we're looking good right now i'll bring you guys back in a bit Alrighty, guys it has been about five days since the last clip five in real life days i think i afk'd for about three of them i know i messed up on some days and i forgot to log back on but guys we have completed the full eight stack iron golem farm. It is making us tons of money. You can see I have almost $2 billion right now. I only just recently finished this, by the way. I think like yesterday or last night I finished it. Um, so yeah, we haven't been AFKing for too long. We have $2 billion now. So you guys can see how efficient this farm really is at its max potential. So guys, we got to make more, okay? Yeah, I've got to make one right here, one right there, one right there. The only issue is I'm going to be running out of robots and I'm going to be running out of cell chests, okay? We have one right here, but you can also see I set up like a little system right here to catch the extra iron that actually falls and it goes down under to another cell chest which honestly probably barely makes me anything but i figured i might as well do that for maximum efficiency but as soon as we set up this other farm i'm definitely going to transfer the cell chest over uh just because you know i mean like that's definitely going to be utilized better over there than it is right here but yeah all these chunk hoppers are maxed out we're going to be doing that again and i think with two billion dollars we could definitely buy a few stacks of igs i think maybe just one actually i don't even know okay with 1.7 billion we're definitely going to be able to get about like a stack in 16 yeah basically a stack in 20 or something like that so you know we'll finish off one pillar almost uh, but of course we'll be making more money off that as well but yeah honestly guys i, I used to think that sugarcane was the wave and like the, if i like made a massive farm we'd be making a lot and sure it'd be helping a little bit but guys i've been afking that for just as long as afking this i made 165 million here but i made like over a billion here so it's not even worth my time to make sugarcane farms the way i did it before because literally like i said this took me like a full night or like multiple nights to complete so definitely not doing that again 
again. I think it's time to just focus on this farm because it's literally making us billions overnight. All right, so I figured I should probably give a tutorial on actually how to make this because I'm pretty sure I made this one off camera in the last episode. So basically what I first do is, you know, I start off by labeling out all the chunks, okay? I, I mark them out just so I know because, you know, chunk hoppers are kind of a big deal. So you want to make sure everything's lined up by chunks, especially with like just the way how spawners work and all that. You got to make sure it's lined up basically perfectly. So chunks are 16 by 16. The best way of doing it is doing slash chunk on the server. And you can tell it is at like the corner of a block right there. So you can see like the division of the chunk. It's like this is one chunk, that's one chunk, that's a different chunk, and that's a different chunk because that's like in the middle of the block. So you can tell, obviously, if you just look at a little bit how it actually works. And uh, yeah, you can do that over and over for each chunk. Or another way you can do it manually without like going on the server on like any server is uh, actually basically using the chunk thing on your F3, which you can see under XYZ block and then chunk, you can see it has like a number. Um, so you can see 15 all the way down to zero or is, uh, is like one chunk basically. But yeah, that's a little bit more confusing. It's way easier to use the command that Archon has. So yeah, that's the first thing I do. And then uh, the, the design I'm using actually has like smaller than one chunk flowing areas, which I don't know if that's like more or less efficient, but it's actually one of the designs that, you know, the guy that gave me like the, he said it was like the secret design for the way bigger one. He gave me this design too. So he said I should use this. So I'm going to follow that. But basically you kind of just mark it in. I think you got to go in like what? One, two, three, I think three blocks. Yeah, one, two, three. And then you kind of just make another mark. So one, two, three, and then this would right here would be the wall. And then you kind of just do that all around. So you kind of just make like another border inside the chunks, uh, you know, divided into these four spots. So I'm gonna go ahead, build these all around equally, and I'll bring you guys back. All right, the next thing I would do after doing all that, disconnecting the sides, is actually make these division areas like three blocks tall, just so it's easier to actually build the inside area. So I just went ahead and did that off camera. You can also extend these ones down. You don't really have to, but I probably will just because it looks nicer. After that is done, to make it the least confusing, you actually want to make this just a full flat floor. Then you can like stack on top of it i believe it's actually exactly 10 blocks as well is it yeah it is 10 blocks across uh, all around so you kind of just do that all all over here and then you'll be able to modify the inside way easier and like understand how the water flow works all right now that that is done we're going to go ahead and go over to the corners stack up twice until it's like a five like a basically a five wide triangle i don't really know how to explain this that well but you can see there's one two three four there's four and then now it'd be five on that and that's gonna be the first layer do that in every corner all right once that is done the next layer is actually like one two three it's like four blocks diagonally from the inside if that makes sense that's like the easiest way to do it like that i think so one two three four and then you know it's right there so when it's at that point you kind of just build it all the way across, do that all the way around, and you just fill in this area here. And then what that should do is once this is filled in, it should be perfect for you to place down water here. It'll flow down properly all the way here, and there will be no like bad spots at current. It'll all lead to this block right there. So yeah, that's how that goes. And then for the place that the spawner actually goes, I believe it's this block right here. So let me go ahead and confirm that. Okay, yeah, it is. It's the fifth diagonal block. So one, two, three, four, and then five. And then you want to make it high enough off the ground so that the IG can flow under it, which I believe is three blocks is like, the best to do it. I guess that's like probably the most efficient way. Um, so they can fit under that as well and not get stuck under it at all. So right, right here where this block is, that should be where our spawner is. And then to be able to place like two stacks of spawners on the same block, I believe you need a five block buffer between the two. So four or five, then a spawner would go right here and then a block on top of it. So yeah, basically replicate this all around. I'm going to go ahead and do that really quick. Actually, I made a mistake. It's actually four blocks above is what I did right here. Just so like, I think I made it like extra room just in case they like fall and like they don't get stuck on the blocks. Yeah, it's not actually this block. It's the one above it, but you still do the five block buffer. All right, so now that this is done the way it's designed is obviously this is the intersection of four different chunks you're able to do four different chunk hoppers which is obviously the most efficient way possible so we're going to go ahead and go to mob coin shop i hope i have enough to actually buy i, I believe i do i think they're only 500 each yeah okay they're only 500 each we're going to buy four of these right here and i actually yeah i think four is good and then we're going to basically choose a block where the cell chest should go so i actually have to go ahead and take the one down here so yeah, I definitely would recommend getting a cell chest. Like otherwise it's not going to be super, super efficient. I mean, like you can make a massive storage, of course, but then like, of course, eventually if you AFK long enough, it'll fill and you're just not making money as fast as you could, I guess, because probably you're going to have to be like, you know, handling the tra like the, the basic hopper rates, which are a lot slower than the chunk hopper rates. So um, yeah, we're going to get the cell chest, but I believe they're super valuable and hard to get, um, or at least they're, they're worth a lot of money, but it's definitely doable without one. You know, it just will take extra time and uh, you probably lose out on some of the efficiency. But yeah, go ahead and place down the chunk hopper and this one right here doesn't really matter um, which chunk it's in just got to be in one of them and then one of the chunk hoppers will go directly into it like that one will go into it that way one will go into this way and then you kind of just choose which way you want uh, this chunk to go into so it doesn't really matter i'll go that way and the best next thing would be to uh, max out all of these so they can transfer stuff 
stuff as fast as possible and there you go that's all good so now they can move 27 stacks every four seconds that's like half the double chest every four seconds so we can actually watch that happen over here if i see one get activated um but yeah basically now we just got to choose a chunk i'm gonna choose a chunk closest to this side just so that i can put like the afk uh minion right here but uh we'll go ahead and start buying all of our igs i don't know how much like value this is gonna give us but it should be pretty decent okay we've got a stack and 27 ig so we can almost fill up a full quadrant i'll go ahead and place down a full stack right there and then up here we'll place down the basically half stack and our value has climbed to 275 million basically 276 which honestly i thought it was gonna go higher than that but i mean it's still pretty good we're almost at the 300 mark but yeah, the one thing I haven't mentioned yet that you actually really need is another robot. Okay, this is a robot farm. This isn't really a lava farm. You can make lava farms, but um, I believe robots are the most efficient, especially if they're upgraded. So what we got to do is I think we got to sacrifice this right here. I don't even think it's worth it anymore. We're going to despawn him and move him over to this farm. And I think we're kind of just going to focus on IGs from now on. So the robot should go right in the middle of like all of these. So it has the best distance. Heroic right here. Mob going to spawn this in right there. And uh, now he's just going to start killing the things around him. Yep, you can see that that iron golem's getting hit. And as soon as it dies, which it should be in a few more hits, all of the iron blocks will go straight into this hopper just like that. And you'll see 27 stacks disappear. And then it'll go to the next stacks after those four second delay. But yeah, that's basically it for that. You always want to make sure these spawners are active. So I'm actually going to move this activating spawner uh, minion to like the middle of those. And I think I'm just going to forget about this farm right here. It's not really needed. I could like move it into this, but then it'll just like sell the stuff. Really not that. Really not worth it. So I'll go ahead and despawn that. Um, by the way, make, when you're moving your robots, make sure you despawn them. Them, not like teleport because i believe every now and then like your minions will go back to where their home is which is actually where they're spawned in so that happened to me once and i missed out on a lot of afking because i actually teleported them instead of respawning them but yeah cool little feature you can do is actually show the radius so we can see the radius of what spawners are being activated so it looks like all of these are in the radius so they all should be getting active actually these ones are kind of close so i think i gotta move this down a little bit okay now it is active right here we can view the radius again like that and i think yeah all of them are way better because this is like a circular radius i believe so i i think we're good to go yeah based on what this is looking like it looks like we're good i think these ones are still pretty close but it should work and uh, yeah it kind of fits in two farms i'm sure that eventually um you know you could probably move these in a little bit or something like that but i'll just like mess with the chunks and all that so it's better to have as many robots as possible i don't think they're super expensive later on in the map but they obviously are pretty rare um i know they do show up in mob coin shop as well for like 200k which is it's actually doable but yeah now we have two of these efficient farms going to work and eventually i can expand this one eventually have all eight stacks but so far we're doing pretty good this will make us a lot more money overnight as well i don't even know if the sugarcane farm will be afk'd if i stand over here to be honest like i know the chunks are loaded right there but i don't know if it actually works but that doesn't really matter compared to how much money these guys are going to be making us all right guys it has been two hours and five minutes since the last clip and take a look at our balance guys it is almost 200 million now we made about 182 million dollars in about two hours so that's like wow that's like 90 million an hour basically which is pretty pretty good so that means overnight we're definitely making over a billion dollars off of these farms right here and this is only one farm really like this one you know it's doing some stuff but really not making super much but um i mean dude like we're definitely making a lot of money i don't know how long it would take us afking wise to overpass heroic might take a little while but i'm not too sure i did some math and i don't really know how accurate it is but it'd take like 10 days assuming we didn't place down any more spawners than just these two but obviously if we're buying that many spawners of iron golems to past heroic and ice value we'll have countless farms of these so we'll be making more and more money so i think it'd take a little bit under a week to pass him but i don't think we're going to be able to do it this series guys because i just found out that we are actually going to be playing the genesis reset which is like this upcoming saturday i believe so um yeah we will be switching over to that for the next skyblock series but guys i think i did pretty well this series for absolutely knowing nothing starting this series because dude if we do ice info we have about 300 million levels right now we started off like our first two or three episodes we had like under 10 million value so we really ramped it up these past two episodes so i'm really excited for what the next skyblock season has to hold i don't know if i'm doing a verse series i do want to though so maybe maybe we will maybe not maybe i'll recruit some people as well we will see but um yeah i mean we definitely learned a lot in this realm and i know the other realms are slightly different so we should be exploring some more things there but yeah once again a quick little look at the standings we got 280 million heroic has about 1.1 billion of uh, royally ah dude this guy's this guy's gone crazy he's about 11 billion and 
then Dr. Candyman, he is at 9 billion. So guys, we came in, oh, well, <laughs> there's our Robbie with the L, 38 mil, guys. We absolutely smoked him, all right? We smoked him, okay? So we came in, what, fourth place out of five? That is not last place, and that was my only goal for the series. I did not want to end up in last place. So guys, I'm going to end off the video right here. Once again, I'm moving to the Genesis realm for the future Skyblock videos. I think that's good as well because, you know, we learned a lot, like I just said, and we're reaching, like, towards the end game where we're kind of just AFKing and placing down more spawners and stuff. But I'm hoping next series we make a lot more progress early on so we can, like, explore the late game farms or what happens when you have, like, 32 stacks of IGs and stuff like that. So, guys, leave a like down below if you enjoy subscribe to the channel. Please hop on Mizo.Archonhq.net, the Genesis Realm, this Saturday, and play alongside me. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be all, guys. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.